hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by my name is gifty you are so welcome to join the team go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to also hit that notification bell so anytime we upload a new video you are instantly notified and to all my oldly oldies thank you so much for coming back in today's recipe we are making buttermilk waffles these are nice and crunchy on the outside so soft and fluffy on the inside topped with some fresh fruit and a drizzle of maple syrup it is so yummy so delicious so let's dive straight into the video and if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also make sure you share the video on all your social media platforms. thank you so much so you need a cup and quarter of buttermilk in this bowl i have a cup and half of all-purpose flour two tablespoons of sugar you can use white sugar i'm using brown sugar or any sweetener of your choice or you can leave um, the sweetener out and then you also need about a tablespoon of um baking powder and i have a half a teaspoon of salt you also need some oil or you can use butter if you choose and then you need a spray you also need two large eggs um, so I went ahead and separated the eggs already. He has a two, uh, two yolks and then I have the two egg whites. And you need a little bit of vanilla extract to flavor it. And of course you can't make waffles without your waffle, waffle iron. So I'm heating, I'm preheating the waffle iron. And let's get started with making our waffles. Alright guys, so I'm just going to mix everything together and make sure it's well incorporated. Add a half cup of oil. Like I mentioned, you can use um, butter if you want, but just make sure you melt the butter. So I'm using avocado oil here. Okay. So if you don't have the buttermilk, don't worry. You can just use regular milk and add in about a tablespoon of lemon juice or um, white vinegar. And that will create the buttermilk that we want. So I went ahead and... Um, added in the vanilla extract and also the egg yolks wakes, um, mixed it together and then made a well in the center of my dry ingredients added in the the wet ingredients and then, then give it a nice mix and what the buttermilk does is it activates with the baking powder and that's how you get that nice beautiful fluffy waffle it's okay if you have a few lumps you know just like a a pancake batter it's okay you don't want to over mix it okay guys so with a clean whisk I'm going to um, whip up my egg whites so this is just like a, a pancake batter the only difference between the two is that with a pancake batter you don't separate the egg yolks from the egg whites now this will ensure that you have a nice fluffy light um, waffle so you can either just use a whisk or you can go ahead and use a hand mixer if you have one so I'll just go ahead and whisk it until I have nice soft peaks and I will show you when we get there all right yo so here's the egg whites that I whipped up I'm going to fold it into the uh, pancake batter here I had to switch to the um, electric mixer the hand mixer because it's such a workout so here you go and gently fold it in so you're gonna have nice crispy outside and fluffy inside just like the pancake house or the waffle house or IHOP right on the comfort of your own home I'll go ahead and spray my waffle iron so make sure you read your manufacturer's guide because some waffle irons don't require you spraying it so go ahead Scoop it in and then I have a double so I will go ahead and close it and let it do its own thing all right guys so here's our first one nice and fluffy okay I'll go ahead and turn it over so if you don't have a you need a cooling rack if you don't have one this is what you can do so you don't um, have a soggy waffle when you put it on your plate just toss it in between your hands so the steam escapes so just like that just for a few seconds and then you can put it on your plate so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the batter 
and I will show you our end result. So you can add in chocolate chips, some berries, you know, whatever floats your boat. All right, guys, so here's the last of our batter. I added in some chocolate chips into this one because why not? All right. All right, guys, so we're going to serve ourselves some. Okay. And let's add one more chocolate chip to it. Add some fruits. You can add, eat it with some ice cream. You want all chicken waffles and chicken add some confectioner sugar mm -mm. and with a nice drizzle of maple syrup y'all this looks good i'm using some peaches and blueberries let's give it a taste Nice and crispy. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let me go in for some more. All right, guys, and there you have it waffles in the comfort of your own home. Fresh, nice, hot, crispy, and fluffy on the inside. Let's ditch all that freezer stuff get yourself a waffle iron and make yourself some trust me it will pay for itself as you continue to make new it numerous of times so i will have the list of ingredients in the description down below so if you're not serving it right away what you can do is go ahead and put it in your oven and turn your oven on to the lowest setting it will keep it nice and warm you can have this for with some ice cream for dessert you can have it for breakfast for lunch or really at any time of the day enjoy this recipe and i will have the list of ingredients down below until we meet again stay blessed stay out of trouble and be well see y'all later bye and god bless you